Yes, sis, you have read the title correctly. I purchased some makeup for Wish, and this is what happened. So, yeah, we're going to start off by getting these brows out the way. This gel I'm using is from Hadayan, or, yeah, Hadayan. And this is in the shade number five. You can compare it to the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso. The colors are very similar. However, the texture of this is very pen ink-like. You really have to wait a good five to ten minutes to let it dry down before you're able to construct your brow with it. Because if not, you will have a messy, runny brow. So wasn't too impressed with that these are the three concealers that i went ahead and purchased as well and you know the colors look different online but these are the swatches of it so you got from this cocoa color this peach and this neutral tannis <laughs> um color so i went ahead and used the color in the middle which was that peachy oranges uh undertone um i really thought this concealer was about to work some miracles until i started blending it out I was thinking it was gonna dry down matte and it ended up drying into this oiliness. Like it's pure oil, like fried chicken oil, like hair grease oil. It's very, very oily. So now we're going with the Sase Lady primer. This primer felt amazing on my skin. It didn't burn. Y'all was taking a whole risk for y'all. And my skin's already in the not as good of the condition I wanted right now, but yeah. I picked up the MAC foundation in the shade NC50 and the pump didn't work, nothing didn't work, so I had to open it to actually use it. So, yeah, the color is very similar to the original MAC foundation. The coverage with this foundation was bomb. You don't need to color correct with it. Um, it didn't smell or anything like that. Um, like I said, the color is very similar to the original. The only thing that I could complain about is after it sat like after it just you know settled into your face it just turned the the color kind of faded out and it just turned into a bunch of oil <laughs> so now we're using this cocoa colored concealer to contour and then we're using that peachy oranges orange shade as the highlight and i noticed with that concealer that it did get darker because it looked a little bit lighter i don't know maybe it was my camera but i noticed that it darkened down Y'all, when I started blending out this concealer under my eyes, y'all, I had I had to take one for the team because it started burning. <laughs> so I'm blending it out. And as you guys can see, you can't even tell where the concealer was. This is the uh, powder that mimics the Benai powder. And y'all, it's just like chicken. It's like flour. You know the flour you fry your chicken in? That's the consistency of it. it. I had to put a lot on because my face was just a big old grease ball. So I just took a little bit and I kept applying it on and on and on and on until it's like thick. So here's the palette I picked out. We Carry Your Favorites. What kind of name is that? We Carry Your Favorites? Okay, says. Um, I would have to say, honestly, without throughout all the products that I did purchase, I loved the, the palette. Overall, I love the palette. Um, and as you guys can see, look at my forehead. That area is real, real greasy. You don't see a lot of highlight in my underneath my eye. It's going to fade and it's going to melt into one. I just felt like the products kept overlapping one with another. And it just ended up very, very bland and very uh, plain. Um, I noticed when I tried to use my beauty blender that 
the product did not go well. You can't use that powder with that beauty blender and you cannot use that foundation with that beauty blender because it leaves blotches and patches and it just doesn't sit well. So I had to redo the video and um, do it with the brush. So I'm just giving you guys the rundown from when I first tried it because I had this for a long time, July of 2018. So yeah, but overall, like I said, the eyeshadow palette is bomb. I love the eyeshadows, and that's probably something I would just continue to use in the future because it was just lit. Now, I didn't buy any lashes or any lips or lipstick. I did buy setting spray, but I don't know where I put it. So, yeah. So, we can use this to contour with. I don't know what it's called because the name just, like, rubbed off. So, we're going to try to go ahead and give our face a little bit of contouring. Um, I had to put, as you guys see, I kept putting more powder on so you guys can see like a highlight and it was very harsh. Um, but I feel like it came together. It looked decent. So I did pick up a MAC Studio Fix pressed powder. This was in the shade, I think, NC50. I don't remember showing that. But I got two of them, NC55 and NC50, and I just used that to clean up that harsh line that I created with my contour. But like I said, I felt like this looked good for 30 minutes. When I did walk around, I told people that this makeup was from Wish, and it was like, stop lying. And I was like, no, I'm serious. It's from freaking Wish. I was like, oh my gosh, you can't even tell. It looks so good. That 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 soon changed an hour later because an hour later I was looking like an oil ball. I had patches all over the place. The only thing that was perfect was my eyeshadow. So yeah, this is the glow kit. It represents the ABH glow kit or replicates that. Um, I really really love this highlighter palette as well. This is gonna be another staple in my you know makeup. So, yeah, this is pretty much how it turns out. Like I said, it looked good when you first got done. And another thing, I couldn't put setting spray on it because it started blotching and, you know, separating and just falling off. So, yeah, this was my take on doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.